Hello. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something different today. I'm going to tell you a story of the time that my homeowner's insurance carrier canceled me in California, which unfortunately is a pretty common story these days. Um, I want to tell you this story because I was successful in getting them to reinstate my insurance. And because it's so common, um, I figured this might be helpful. So here we go. Your first step should always be to call your insurance agent. That sets up a uh, escalation documentation series that you can then refer back to later. So it's not that you're necessarily expecting your agent to resolve the issue. In fact, in my case, when I contacted my agent, he specifically told me that he had been told not to handle the issue, um, which I found kind of interesting. <clears throat> um, however, I then had it documented that on this date, upon receipt of the letter, I had made this contact. Uh, you might also remember from these calls that the first thing that they tell you is that the call is being monitored and recorded. That is a good thing. Remember that. Then I called the 800 number, which is just kind of the general contact number for your insurance. And um, I spoke to just kind of a random underwriter type of agent there. That underwriter in my case actually told me something that was not accurate. And then when I followed up on that step, which I'm not really going to outline for you here because your uh, situation might be different from mine, I could again refer back to that contact. So really the moral of the story here is that you want to take your escalation up the chain in an orderly fashion. <clears throat> Insurance agent, 800 number. Imagine that you've contacted your agent, you've contacted the 800 number, and you still haven't received resolution. Let's return back to the original letter of adverse action that you received. When your insurance carrier sends you the letter of adverse action, it's really easy to overlook the part at the bottom of the letter, which often is on the back side of the page, where it tells you what your options are. Making a formal request for all of the information that the insurance company had collected on me and my property. It also included the contact information and directions to get the um, information from the third party that had taken the aerial photos of my property, which had led to their cancellation, which by the way, was completely bogus. But again, I'm not gonna get into <laughs> the specifics here because the point is how to fight it when your insurance company tries to cancel your insurance for reasons that are ridiculous, um, which they are in California. They are going to single-handedly tank the housing market and I hope they are proud. Anyway, I digress. Back to this uh, options that you have in your letter. The other thing that they are legally obligated to include in that letter is the directions and website to file an official complaint with the California Department of Insurance. So earlier we talked a little bit about the importance of documenting kind of all of your escalation steps. That is where this comes in to play. I strongly suggest that you do each and every item that they tell you you have an option to do. So in my case, I reached out to the third party uh, company, I don't even know, that had taken the footage of my house. And I told them that I had a right to that footage, which was outlined in my letter uh, and requested it. I reached out to the insurance company itself and requested documentation of all of the information that they had on me and I also requested the uh, audio and or transcripts of all of the telephone calls that I had made regarding my cancellation. 
or actually in my case it was a non-renewal but same difference they're canceling you um and then i filed a complaint with the california department of insurance i copied my agent on all of this communication and that is important because it lets the insurance company know that you know what you're doing and you're doing everything that you have a right to do. You're not gonna let them get away with this, we'll call it nonsense. When you are writing in these requests or these complaints, the most important thing to remember is to be ultra objective. What that means is that you are keeping it very much in line with the facts. So here are the facts. In my case, my property was not in the condition described. And I submitted documentation to that effect. I submitted a lot of photo evidence. I also was very careful to be clear about what I was requesting. And when you file a complaint with the California Department of Insurance, there's a place for you to indicate what you want. What you want, even though it may very well be to get somebody fired, you're not gonna say that. I know it would be awesome. But no, you're not gonna say that. You want your insurance policy renewed or reinstated or whatever the case may be. And you are within your rights to request this because you have done all of these things in order to set yourself up in order to get that request accommodated. The California Department of Insurance will not take up each and every complaint. So that is why it is so critical that you use objective language. These are the facts. This is why I deserve what I'm asking for. Keep it business, not personal. <laughs> and this is what I want the California Department of Insurance to do. The California Department of Insurance, after you file a complaint, will reach out to you and give you kind of like a case manager, assuming that they take up your case. Um, and insurance companies really don't like to deal with that, especially now in California, because so many companies are fleeing our state and leaving us completely in the lurch and ruining our housing market. But again, I digress. Uh, they really don't want to have these conversations and they don't want to be scrutinized by the state. California is very regulation happy. So why not use that to our advantage as consumers? So long story short, my request for renewal after being told by every single person up the chain of command that it was impossible and not appealable Lo and behold, they found a way to renew my policy. Huh, imagine that. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Big takeaways, escalate in order. Start with your agent, then the 800 number, then every single thing you have a right to do as outlined in your letter, and keep it objective. It's really hard. It was really hard for me not to make it a vendetta. <laughs> um, but I was able to keep it professional and I truly believe that that is what made me successful in getting my complaint taken up by the California Department of Insurance and therefore uh, reached a resolution resulting in me still having homeowner's insurance that I can afford, amazing. Anyway, if this has been useful to you, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, otherwise, I kind of feel like I'm screaming into the void, which sometimes I am. Have a great day. Happy fighting the good fight. Take care.